Next question is from Carly Osika. What value does a Zercher squat provide that a front squat doesn't? I find that the pain of holding the bar in the crook of my arms for a Zercher squat limits the weight I can lift way before my muscle strength does. So I wonder if I should just front squat instead. Yeah, a few things with this. Uh, so you'll, you'll get this argument too with uh, the wrists. So the wrists are, if you're actually performing a front squat, like a lot of people can't really, uh, they don't have the, the the mobility in the wrists to even kind of pull that off. And so they'll fold their arms and, um, you know, that. so there's different techniques. Also like with the Zercher, you know, this is where I do like recommend you probably put a pad there if that's an issue for you. Like you could solve a lot of, you know, that discomfort with just, you know, one of those pads there. But um, really like just having the weight in a different place, you're going to get a different type of recruitment uh, and you're going to receive a different benefit from that. So it's just it, look at it as a different exercise completely. It's two well, totally different exercises. Yes. Yes. The weight is in front of you on both of them. But one of them, the weight is down closer to your midline. You have a longer lever. It's not a deadlift, so it's not your full arm, but it is at the elbow. So you have a lever in front of you. It's gonna the, the different placing of the weight is gonna uh, activate and work your muscles a little bit differently. A zercher squat mimics how you tend to pick things up and lift them more than mm -hmm. even a deadlift because when you hold things. You keep it in real close. You tend to hold it real close. Um, I never did Zercher squats until um, we wrote Maps Strong, and then we put uh, Zerchers in there. Yeah, performance first. And performance, right? And I started to to do them more often. And what I noticed from them was uh, mid-back development, um, glute development. I got more glute activation with the Zercher squat than I did with the front squat, uh, for sure. It's actually Jessica's favorite squat now. Well, it's, I mean, there's a reason why it's in performance and it's in strong and it's not, we don't, it's not programmed in every other program, right? So I don't, I don't think it needs to be a, a staple exercise for everybody. But when you talk about uh, functional training, that's why it's in performance. And obviously for strong men, lifts and stuff, that type of training is extremely important to be able to pick up stones and uh, whatever the other uh, atlas, whatever the atlas stones, and what are the other yeah, and like sandbags and yeah, everything they have, else that are very centric uh, to the body. Right, it makes a ton of sense. So, and when you think about what you you know, if you were to bend over in in real life and pick up something that weighed a hundred and something pounds or more, yeah. you know, think about exactly how you would carry it. Bags, a, bags of concrete, bags of yeah. dog food, you know, things from Costco, you anything. Know, boxes. Even if you pick up your friend or your spouse yeah, or whatever, kids, Furn furniture, couch, right. whatever, you know, what I'm saying anything is going to be close to the midline like that you're going to hold it in tight and you're going to pick it up right so yeah it's a it's a it's a very functional exercise to emulate things that you would probably do in real world you get strong at doing that you're less likely to hurt yourself doing one of those movements now uh talking about it for only building muscle or burning body fat like yeah if i had a client that that's all they cared about they're not looking for real world functional strength and they're saying adam can i do a different exercise besides this this bothers me so much or i hate it then yeah i would uh, i would exchange it with another movement but obviously, if this person is doing this and it's something we programmed, they're following either performance or strong, which I would think you're interested in either the strong lifts and, and movements, which this obviously pertains to that, or you're interested in performance and real world strength, which is what performance is all about. Yeah. And what I like about the Zercher too is like, again, you have a barbell, so you can load that substantially. If it's a goal of yours to get really strong in that lift, like uh, the Atlas Stone is very similar in terms of like, except for you're going to do a little bit more rounded back lifting with that, which is challenging because not a lot of people, it's not an ideal posture to be in, but it's also important to strengthen that. Uh, to to be able to navigate through that uh, position because that's a real world position. Yeah, you're it's be in. it's uh it's the the good kind of rounded back lifting, right? Yeah. So rounded back. I'm not referring to rounded lower back or bad posture. I'm referring to the shoulder blades not being pinned back, but rather being slightly rounded forward, which is how you lift things in the real world. And that position right there, you want to get stronger too. You don't want to just have a strong back with your your shoulder blades pin back. You want them to be strong with your shoulder blades in different positions. Zercher squats encourage right. that. That's how I, that's why I noticed I got good mid back development from yeah, it. Yeah, we're not posture robots. 